remember, with great power comes great responsibility. The futuristic weapons of our favorite sci-fi classics are becoming a reality today. For the advanced nations that wield these new weapons, they can help prevent casualties on their sides, or even provide deterrence to certain types of attacks. For the nations that are behind the technological curve, these weapons can be ominous. Israel is at the forefront of developing some of the world's most advanced military equipment, covering every aspect of warfare from ground, air, sea, and even cyber. Most warfare starts with information gathering and reconnaissance. Having more information before battle often provides a strategic and tactical advantage, and Pegasus may be the ultimate spy tool. Picture this. You receive a call from a strange number, and you decline it. Without you realizing it, Pegasus stealthily enters your phone. Once inside, it gains unrestricted access to almost every component and piece of information on your device. Usually you would need to open a malicious file or link for malware to exploit your device. But Pegasus shifted that paradigm with what is called a zero-click attack. Just receiving a call or a text message loaded with a Pegasus exploit can lead to the subtle installation of one of the world's most lethal pieces of spyware on your device. Pegasus was developed by an Israeli cyber intelligence firm called NSO Group. The spyware is relentless in its surveillance capabilities. It can track your location, collect your messages, record your conversations, harvest your contacts, activate your microphone and camera, record your screen, and even secretly capture files from your device. The implications of Pegasus spyware are alarming. Journalists, activists, and human rights defenders have fallen victim to this invasive tool. The Spanish government used Pegasus to hack the phones of at least 51 activists involved in the Catalan separatist movement. The Saudi government used it to hack the phone of the fiancé of Jamal Khashoggi, just days after he was assassinated by the regime. Israel has used it not only for recon on military targets, but also on the phones of members of peaceful Palestinian civil society and activist groups. Detecting and removing Pegasus from a compromised device is no easy task. Its developers constantly update the software, making it difficult for antivirus programs to detect and eliminate. Moreover, Pegasus exploits vulnerabilities in popular apps like WhatsApp and iMessage, making even encrypted communication channels vulnerable. Pegasus's reconnaissance can all be fed back to command centers, and the stealthily stolen data can feed into the next futuristic tool in the Israeli arsenal, the SPICE smart bomb system. The SPICE system, which stands for smart, precise impact, cost effective, is a cutting-edge smart missile system developed for precision strikes in military operations. Think of SPICE as a missile with a brain and a pair of eyes. Prior to a mission, the SPICE kit can be loaded with data for up to 100 targets that the pilot can select during the flight. The missiles are equipped with GPS, CCD cameras, and infrared imaging that relay visual and positional information to the pilot and the command center while the missile is heading toward its target. The SPICE missiles can then use algorithms to match the preloaded data in its memory to images, GPS, and map data it receives in real time. The pilot and the command center can see all of this information and adjust the missile mid-flight. Imagine trying to dodge a remotely controlled missile loaded with data about you and your location that's being steered via cameras in the projectile. Not an easy task. Most aerial campaigns still require ground troops to go in and complete mission objectives. Instead of relying on archaic point-and-shoot rifles that require you to actually aim and face your target, the Israelis have developed a revolutionary system of AI-powered rifles that can find targets and aim for you. Arakes, or the AI-powered computerized solution for assault rifles, designed by Elbit Systems, is a remarkable piece of military technology that has revolutionized modern warfare and is a game-changer on the battlefield. 
The system is comprised of a built-in AI-powered computer system that interfaces with the rifle's electro-optical sight and a helmet-mounted eyepiece that's attachable to the standard-issue Israeli Army rifle. It has a live camera feed. It can determine wind speeds, distance of objects, detect the movements of objects, and the number of bullets left in a magazine. This advanced visual and information feed allows soldiers to shoot from the hip, around corners, or from undercover, without even needing to peek their heads out to look. There is no more need for aim. The soldier can see the crosshairs and their targets on their visual feeds simply by pointing the rifle in the direction of the target and controlling the visual feed with a joystick. They can even do this without light or a direct line of sight because the system also has thermal vision. On top of that, it can download mission data from the command center to the visual feed. It presents all of this information to the soldier as an augmented reality layer that is seen through the electro-optical sight or the helmet-mounted eyepiece. The information gathered by the feeds on all of the ARCAS systems can be seen by personnel at command centers and other soldiers who are integrated into the system. This gives an unprecedented level of battlefield visibility, which can contribute to a massive tactical advantage. There is nothing else like it in existence, and it is truly a major step towards the age of cyber soldiers. With data gathered from Pegasus, targets eliminated by smart bombs, and enemy combatants pinned down and eliminated by soldiers who can see around corners and through walls with AI-powered rifles, an opposing force may get desperate and start to hurl rockets and mortars. That's when the laser beams come in. Yes, actual laser beams. Lasers are essentially highly concentrated and amplified narrow beams of light. Many of the lasers we use all the time are non-harmful because the amount of energy behind them is not designed to do damage. Concentrating a laser powerful enough to destroy an object is a very recent scientific achievement that many long saw as a whimsical fantasy. Not anymore though, because this system is very real. The iron beam, developed by Raphael Advanced Defense Systems, sounds like something you would find on the Star Trek Enterprise. It is an air defense system that works by directing a powerful laser beam toward an incoming threat. As the laser makes contact, it rapidly heats the internal components of the target, causing it to malfunction or even explode mid-air. This not only eliminates the immediate threat, but also may prevent collateral damage, as the destroyed target disintegrates in the sky. One of the most impressive aspects of the iron beam is its speed and precision. Since a laser is light, the beam can reach the target at the speed of light with pinpoint accuracy. With the ability to track and engage multiple targets simultaneously, it can neutralize threats within seconds, making it an incredibly effective defense mechanism. Another advantage of this system is its cost effectiveness. Unlike traditional missile systems that require expensive ammunition, the iron beam operates on electricity alone and can engage multiple threats without the need for reloading or restocking. To put the cost difference into perspective, the Israeli Iron Dome, which is a traditional air defense system that utilizes rockets to intercept targets, costs between $100,000 and $150,000 per rocket launch. The iron beam simply requires electricity so it costs just $5 per fire. Without a doubt, Israeli military technology is at the very cutting edge, and the technologies themselves are impressive, innovative achievements. A weapon is neither good nor bad, it's just a tool, and the wielder must choose wisely in its usage. A weapon can be used to take a life unjustly, or protect the innocent from an injustice. In light of what is going on in Palestine and Israel today, we can only call for the state that wields these incredible weapons that are orders of magnitude more advanced than those of their opposition to employ discretion, wisdom, and respect for human life. Let us know what you think about these futuristic weapons of war. If you found this video interesting, please leave a like and subscribe to see more content. Thanks for watching.